I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on fractions. Now we will discuss how to divide fractions. The strategy to divide fraction is to simplify first and then divide. Now first part of simplification is that division by let's say division by a is equal to multiplication by 1 over e. Division and multiplication are reciprocal. Right. So, they are reverse operations. We can say they are reverse operations. Now, with that in mind, we will see how to simplify right so the first step is when you have a divide like this you could write the given question as 6 divided by 10 now another division right so this could be written as multiply by flip it over right 15 over 9 so that is what I mean by reciprocal you just flip it over Numerator becomes denominator, denominator becomes numerator, right? And the sign, as you can see here, changes from division to multiplication. Do you see that? And we flipped them. Brought this down. Both are equivalent. Correct? To give you an example, if I say, 6 divided by 1 over 2. It is same as 6 multiplied by 2. So when you divide by half, divide by half, you actually get 12, which you also get when you multiply 6 by 2, 12. So that is the first operation, that is flip them. Now, once you have flipped them, you should do multiplication as you have already learned, right? Before division. Now, even to multiply, I will suggest first you simplify. That is to see, check for the common terms. I can divide 15 and 10 both by 5. So, divide this by 5 we are getting 5 times 3 as 15 and 5 times 2 as 10. Perfect. So dividing numerator and denominator by the same number is permitted. Similarly, we could also divide 6 and 9, both of them by 3. So let's do it. So we can divide this by 3. 3 times 2 is 6 and 3 times 3 is 9. Correct? Now what do you notice? You notice that we have 2 divided by 2. They can be cancelled. Correct? 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 3 divided by 3 is also 1. So what we get here is just 1. Correct? That is what we get. Now let us check. If we would have multiplied, that is to say, if I would have done something like this, 6 over 10 times 15 over 9, 6 times 15 is 90, divided by 9 times 10, which is also 90, we would have got 1. Do you see that? So the same answer we got by simplifying. We did not have to multiply such big numbers. Perfect. So you see how by simplifying first, we can easily do division of fractions. Correct? Now, the second question here is for you to practice. So you can copy this practice and then check with my solution. So what is the first step? First step is to write the same function with flipped 
rather division as multiplication. So the first step is write the equation changing division to multiplication. And when you do that, you have to flip, right? So 28 over 18 will be the result. Now we need to simplify. Look for common factors in both. 7 could divide 28. So we get 7 times 4 as 28 and 7 times 5 as 35. As far as 24 and 18 are concerned, both can be divided by 6. 6 times 3 is 18 and 6 times 4 is 24. Now check, can you simplify it further? No, we cannot. Numerator is even and we do not have any even term in the denominator. So now multiply the numerators which is 4 times 4 as 16 and divide by what is there in the denominator 5 times 3 15 correct so 16 over 15 is your answer sometimes we would like to write this as a mixed number since this is improper fraction so if required we could write this as 16 divided by 15 is one whole one is left right so 1 over 15 correct so this you could think like this 16 could be written as 15 plus 1 divided by 15 do you see that so this portion 15 over 15 is one whole and the other portion which is left which you add to it 1 over 15 is the other part so we get a mixed number as shown you right so I hope that helps feel free to write your comments and share your views if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best